Welcome to Tim Sold Talks. Join us as we dive into all things real estate, talk about business, food, cars, and much more with industry experts. Dream it, believe it, achieve it. Welcome back to another episode of Tim So Talks. I'm very honored to have uh, Earl here, the founder of uh, Hoops Haven, uh, join us. Uh, thank you very much for coming on, Errol. Hey, Errol. Good to be Errol. Here. <laughs> <laughs> good to be here. Uh, and uh, before we begin, uh, in keeping with tradition, uh, we thank you to our sponsor, Bon Me House, today for the uh, wonderful Vietnamese iced coffee. Ooh. So, going to be refreshing on a hot day like today. <laughs> so, right, let's do it. <laughs> let's give it a try. Peel off. Yeah. She got a little slower on that. <sighs> you can hear it. <laughs> Mm. Ooh. Ooh, that is strong. Oh, that's strong. Mm. Yeah, the owner was just uh, here telling us um, the beans are roasted, uh, not, oh, sorry, he took, he, these are Vietnamese uh, coffee beans, not and not anything local. He roasts them in house. Mmm, I love that flavor. That's great. Wow. Mix it up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bit of condensed milk in there. Mmm. Mmm. That is great. That's really smooth. Mmm. Oh, that's a really good drink. Uh, and for those that don't know, Bombing House is just around the corner from us. So go, I highly, highly recommend uh, you guys go check them out. Yeah. Um, okay, Errol, founder of Hoops Haven. Mm -hmm. What's the story behind that? <laughs> All right. So this is during COVID. Yeah. Where we actually opened up. Oh, uh, so it's only a few years. Yeah, okay. yeah. Three years. Yeah. Uh, but we uh, came across a facility uh, mm. that wasn't being used um, mm -hmm. and had a great space for courts. Yep. And so my buddy and I, who have been, he's been a really good friend of mine, mm -hmm. um, kind of journeyed together for about 14 years. Okay. And knew we were going to do something together. And yeah. He called me. I also do web development and mm. media and stuff like that. So he had reached out to me to build a site for him. Mm -hmm. And through a series of different events, I just realized, hey, dude, let's do this. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm in. Let's do this together. <laughs> and uh, he was like, oh, yeah, I, that's not why well, I called you, but, but yeah, sure. let's go, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's, it's been a wild journey, you know, mm -hmm. just completely upgrading the space and mm -hmm. just putting back what we're making, reinvesting that yeah. right into the infrastructure of the facility and getting mm -hmm. everything going. And yeah, uh, it's been great, man. So For those that don't know, what 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 is what what kind of courts do you have? How many? Like yeah. what's yeah? So we have two full courts. Mm -hmm. um, we run basically, you know, a lot of training groups, training organizations come through and. Mm -hmm. Uh, book out blocks and blocks of time, and yep. <clears throat> and so that's been our main thing. Um, now, out of that as well, we have a program called North Ball Athletics, mm -hmm. which is a training program for kids from five all the way up to nineteen. Okay, and so we have four different programs there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have North Ball Starters, yep. North Ball Rising Stars, wow. North Ball Elite, okay. and then North Ball Court Queens, which is an all girls safe zone. Okay, you know? yeah, yeah. So we found a lot of girls <clears throat> between eleven and seventeen just didn't want to run with the boys. Yeah. And so we were like, let's create something for them. So, <laughs> nice. Uh, that's been okay. huge. It's just been exploding. Yeah. No, that's uh, it's only the last three years you started that, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. business is good. The leagues are good. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. teams are doing are well. Yeah, teams yeah. are going well. Um, nice. We have the Northwell program is like just exploded this last couple of months, like mm. since the beginning of quarter two. And okay. just have amazing stories, amazing families. Mm -hmm. We have about 100 and... 30 kids right now. Wow. Our camp is next week. Yeah. So it's a full day, <laughs> five, five day camp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and we're just running subsidized programs for kids, right? That's the mm. whole thing. Okay. Uh, basketball for all, right? Yeah, so, yeah. No, that's yeah. amazing. So it's you and your partner that kind of wanted to create something. Yeah, um, yeah. I guess kind of giving back to the community. That's right, yeah. 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 Okay. So that's yeah. our heart, right? Yeah. Um, we're both uh, Christian guys, um, mm -hmm. really navigating our life and, and with faith and faith and culture and mm -hmm. you know blending that in and that's yeah. actually where i met him was at our previous church oh and he uh, just was looking for someone to help him dig holes in his backyard <laughs> and like literal like, holes literal <laughs> holes literal holes yeah 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 not metaphorically <laughs> i don't know what that would mean anyways <laughs> but uh so he was hit, they were doing like a daycare thing so they needed bigger windows and all okay. that stuff right yeah so i was like yeah i'll come over and okay. I show up, and it's just him and I. I thought there was going to be a whole army of people. <laughs> but as we were digging, we yeah. were bonding. Yeah. And it was at that moment that we got this sense that we're supposed to dig together in life. It was oh. actually really funny. <laughs> but it was like, dude, I think we're meant to dig together. together. Yeah. And uh, that was like about 12 years before mm. this moment. Okay. Right? And uh, we had relocated. Mm -hmm. He had moved out to the, the east end of Toronto. Yeah. We were in Brampton at the time. Mm -hmm. And... You know, seven years later, yeah. I move out 
to Whitby, mm-hmm. and we're like a few minutes apart, like away from each other, <laughs> and then things started bo- snowballing. So by the time he called me, yeah, about this, just that's a little bit of the context here, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I was like, dude, yeah, let's, let's do, do this. Let's do something. You know, let's yeah, do something yeah. together, mm-hmm. and, and you know, stretch our entrepreneurial, you know, wings, but, and yeah, yeah, and just take on the adventure. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, let's talk about the adventure. So, you know, three years ago, was this like, had you started another business before? Or was this kind of the first thing or what's, no. you know, what was that like? So before this in 2016, so growing, mm. so my, a lot of my career was in the church space, right? So mm. I was doing uh, worship pastoring and music and stuff like that. Yep. But um, in 2016, I started a media company mm-hmm. uh, called New Vision Media. Mm-hmm. And I specifically focus on churches. Mm. Uh, so you have a lot of boomers who are pastors okay. Yeah. Who this like everything accelerated so quickly? <laughs> like, I have no idea what to do. Yeah, yeah. What's going on? And so I was part of a, a on a planning team for a men's conference yeah. for several years, and I was the youngest guy on the team. Mm-hmm. And I'll bring up these ideas about how we can market and brand and mm-hmm. do all these things, and they're like, "Oh, how, wow, we could do all that. You could do this." And I'm like, "Yeah, we yeah. can leverage social media and yeah, yeah. Make connections." And they had no idea. Mm. And uh, I was like, man, we got to get better at this. But the problem is that they can't afford to do that. Mm. They yeah. can't afford to hire someone in that area. Um, and it's just a strange hire for a church. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I just started a program that was just a retainer-based program. Mm-hmm. Uh, a fraction of the cost of hiring someone. Yep. But I'll come in as your communications media director. Mm-hmm. And uh, work, you know, on the, based on the retainer and kind of determine what is possible in terms of deliverables, mm-hmm. uh, and then ma- map it out. You know, going yeah. like even even if it's a minimum amount of deliverables, y- yeah. if you plan it out strategically, you can get a lot done, mm-hmm. right? And so it was just pairing strategy with these deliver deliverables, yeah, uh, to to help these churches. And so in that journey, okay, so yeah. this is 2016. Um, I had about at the peak about seven eight churches okay. that I was working with. Yeah, right. And one of the churches was the, was the bridge. The bridge. Right? Yep. So, um, yeah, that's been who I am. And then ever since I was sixteen years old, just always been into things, launching things, mm-hmm. doing events, and connecting with people all over the city to put this thing together. Yeah, yeah. Just always been a part of who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, sometimes you're in it, and you're like, "What did I do?" Why? <laughs> you know, when the things, when the, it's not always an uphill, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's like that. Yeah. And uh, it's in a those, coaster, in those yeah. valleys, you're like, "Why am I doing this?" Why am what? I doing this? <laughs> but when it's inside you, right? Yeah. You just have to. Yeah. Right. And so, that's that, man. That's how yeah. it started, right? So started. you still run the media company. You still I do. got yeah. the yeah the, yeah the hoop saving as well. So I got the hoop saving. I still yeah. got new vision media. Yep. Um. And right now, I just have mm-hmm. like one particular church that I'm working with. Mm-hmm. Um, really paired, pulled back on that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what we have going on right now is Hoops Haven mm-hmm. is running. Yeah. Uh, North Ball, like I said, is just exploding. Yeah. So North Ball uh, is really much focused on Scarborough region right now. Okay. Um, and Scarborough, of any borough in Toronto. Yeah. It's just there's such a pride to mm. Scarborough, yeah, such a culture that it's like Scarborough. Like I did a war song my Scarborough swag. <laughs> One of our uh, sponsors is a group called uh, Scarborough Spots. Scarborough um, Spots, yeah. and they are they have a lot of Scarborough merch. Yeah, so I have all their merch. So I was like, Should I wear this. I don't know. But there's just such a culture of, within Scarborough that I just mm-hmm. love. Yeah. Right? And the so basketball culture there is basketball culture is huge. huge. Yeah, stars, yeah. right? Yeah, Scarborough Blues. So Scarborough Blues, yeah. Uh, there's such a huge, huge thrust there. Mm-hmm. Um, so connecting with all those guys, like the Scarborough Shooting Stars guys, we actually yeah. they um, um, Sam Abraham and um, um, Cy, uh, who runs Power Staffing Solutions, they're the guys mm-hmm. who own Scarborough Shooting Stars. Yeah. So we had Cy come out to one of our North Ball mm-hmm. uh, sessions. And he just gave everybody tickets to the shooting stars. Game. So we're all going oh, nice. there in two weeks. All right. So there's going to be a whole section of all these North Ball families, right? Yeah, we're rocking yeah. the t-shirt and stuff. <laughs> so it's been good, man. It's been, yeah. it's been amazing. So I've, I have really pared back on New Vision a bit just mm-hmm. to give time to yeah. really lead these other initiatives, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's other things that we're doing now that we have time, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And that's a great thing that's been amazing. No, right? that's just time. 
great to hear. Yeah, because yeah. that time is our most valuable time resource, right? 100%. So you'll be able to get some back and put it back into another initiative and watch that grow. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's just been my passion. So I've been kind of like focusing on that and then yeah. seeing things go. And, and uh, we are now in, this, in the process of um, just a, uh, getting a new location and doing mm -hmm. a bunch of different things there. And, yep. and so that's been... Uh, a cool adventure, man. That's amazing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, continue to, you know, watch out and uh, watch for the success of that. And, yeah. um, you know, you said new locations, so obviously expansion plans on your yes. mind. Yes. Like what's, uh, can you share some of those details or what? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So one of the things that's been um, in my mind for quite some time mm. is the fitness component. Mm. So uh, mm -hmm. back where we currently are, there is a, back in the day, the unit next to us uh, was vacant. Mm. And so I was saying to my business partner, like, man, we should, you should. Acquire that space, <laughs> put a door here yeah, yeah. and do a whole fitness thing here. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's been something in my mind for quite a while. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but we recently connected with um, someone who she is a professional trainer. That's what she does. And mm -hmm. um, there's some synergies that are building there yep. in terms of her expertise mm -hmm. and this passion. Yeah. And going, look. This is something we want to do, and mm -hmm. just to find someone who's a leader, yeah, and uh, who can really take that on, right? Okay. And so that's been a conversation that's in the works, mm -hmm. and so that's definitely something you want to get into. And then, man, you know, one thing about having a gym is you you're you're in a you have a core business, yeah, which is court rentals, yep, right, sports rentals, mm -hmm. but really you're also in the in the business of space, yeah. right. And uh, just going, how can we utilize this? Mm -hmm. You know, recently we had a couple of events hosted at our venue mm. uh and we've seen they're really unique so like you you banquet halls and those oh. those traditional event spaces yeah uh, but the people who come here it's like half the court is games and the other half is like your banquet, banquet yeah you set up tables and yeah set up tables and stuff right <laughs> but it's a cool vibe yeah because yeah. it's like it's a, it's unique you don't see it anywhere right? yeah yeah and so it's been this thing that at the at the end of every one of these, you just hear the chatter of people going like, "This is amazing. This is cool. This is yeah, really yeah, cool. Right? Yeah, yeah." And uh, we're like, "Hey, there's something to that, right? <laughs> of like really unique spots." Actually, the other day, a few weeks ago, um, my wife's birthday, we went to Activate. I don't know if you've ever been to Activate. Um, it's like a indoor kind of games yeah. uh, experience like a thing. Chuck E. Cheese for adults, right? Or yeah, sort of like <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like all these rooms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then each room is like. Uh, it's a g different game, yeah. right? So they have like say five different types of rooms, mm -hmm. and then they have like say two of those types, right? Okay. So, um, so like say ten rooms, okay? Yeah, yeah. But you go into a room and say it's a floor of tiles, and you can play five different games in this room, mm. but all utilizing these tiles. Yeah, yeah. But it's a cool experience. So we went with the family, like the five of us, and yeah. just like doing. You work together to get your score, and mm -hmm. um, all that to say mm -hmm. is that. I think what what people are really looking for is just unique experiences. Mm. Yeah, I agree. Like, what can we do, right? And yeah. uh, you go to the movies, yeah, go yeah. for a walk, you know, Wonderland, Wonderland, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of the same old thing. Yeah, uh, but then these new experiences, or the, there's a place called the Bubble right by Canada's mm -hmm. Wonderland, which yeah. is like a, the whole warehouse just is a big inflatable. Oh, bouncy uh, castle bouncy kind castle of things. Thing. Yeah, yeah. And so that's a really cool, like just to find these really cool, unique ideas. Yeah. So leveraging that idea, that that space right now within the mental mm -hmm. space of pe where people are at. Yeah. Is going, how can you create something unique? Right? Okay. How can you present something that's just different? Yeah, yeah. Right? And so that's okay. that's kind of the big ideas that mm. we're exploring. Yeah. I'm going, you know, what's, what? We, we have space. Yeah, yeah, you got space. That's So how can we want, do something different? Utilize it, right? Unique? Yeah. 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 No, it's a great uh, kind of uh, words of advice, I guess. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, speaking of that, you know, words of advice, you know, you started this during COVID. So one of the most <laughs> troublesome <laughs> times in business history. Uh, can you talk us some of the challenges you guys had to overcome? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, this was before the lockdowns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This was just um, the COVID was a thing and everybody's mm -hmm. in there and we're all doing social yeah. distancing and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so... At the time, it was a lever we leveraged the opportunity of this facility not being maximized to its potential. Mm -hmm. uh, but after we opened, um, within a few months mm. is when they did the lockdown. Oh yes! And so for every, everyone was everyone was like, "What does this mean? What is it doing?" Oh my yeah. gosh! It's just the stress of that. Yeah, that must just have gonna, just been like for your oh, own mental, oh my like gosh, financial, like a shot in yeah. the heart, hundred <laughs> percent. Stressful times, just for sure. a stressful yeah, time. Yeah. 
and you're kind of weathering that moment and um did you make the right choice kind of thing or, or yeah decisions? exactly yeah. Questioning, questioning what you yeah, did yeah. And, and thankfully um we were able to weather through it mm. right yeah. um and uh yeah it, that the impact wasn't as heavy mm. um as we had thought it would be okay um and that's just you know we put a lot of different measures and stuff in place like it yeah when things started to open up slowly in different phases we were mm -hmm. able to put measures and yeah um you know to kind of keep things safe mm -hmm. and so that was you know it went well but we were also able to at that time yeah. like it i mean we're, we've we're able to carry a lot right in mm -hmm. terms of the cost and, yep. yeah, yeah. and uh so it was a healthy time for us yeah. Okay. And I think that helped us weather it. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it was terrifying. Yeah. Because like, yeah. you don't know how long. And yeah, it was a big unknown. Oh like, my gosh. And government restrictions. And now you look back, it's like, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> was it necessary? No that one about? Yeah, yeah. I know, right? 100%. <laughs> it was wild, man. Yeah, yeah. That's the biggest thing was just, uh, mm. just the unknown. Yeah. And going, okay, we can carry ourselves for a certain period of time, but you know. Yeah what that is yeah yeah and your runway is only so much your runway is only, yeah. only so much yeah yeah and so just hanging on and hoping that you don't have to put up everything for <laughs> this period of time right <laughs> yeah so no we're glad it, it worked out and uh you know now you're back uh you know after all that you yeah. picked that up you're growing you're yeah. uh yeah. you know even more prosperous than before so mm -hmm. uh you know congratulations to that uh, mm -hmm. uh journey there and uh you know, but you know, some of the I've seen some of the the tech that you guys have in there, the the, the, the Doctor Dish, Dish and all that. Yeah. So talk about that because that was never around when we were playing ball back in the day. So yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah. going, this is kind of blending with the whole fitness thing and yeah. kind of where I was going with that. But the exciting thing about something like a Doctor Dish is the mm -hmm. idea of precision based training, right? Mm -hmm. Targeted training. Yeah. So with Doctor Dish, the cool thing is you can create an account, personal mm -hmm. account. You have to download the app on your phone. Yeah. And you can go in there and it will do heat map, right? So okay. it will track your streaming percentages based on where you are. Mm -hmm. Now, this particular unit, there's different models of the Docker Dish. And mm -hmm. the one we have is comes with a big, huge screen on it. Okay. And the cool thing about that is that yeah. it gives you access to like 300 different workouts. Oh, right? okay. So you have people from all over North America like who've contributed training material. Yeah. And you can go in there and just be like, okay, hey, solo. So a lot of people book. You know, I just want to book time with Dr. Dish, yep. right? And they'll come in, just one dude yeah. coming in there. Just work on the game. Work on his game. Yeah. Set it up. You can start a training session. Yeah. And you can pick from multiple different things based on what you want to work on, mm -hmm. right? And so that, the machine now, in terms of its rate, its shooting rate, yeah. where it's going to Swing pass to the ball, yeah. Yeah. Um, will be dependent on that workout, mm -hmm. right? So it's a really cool way of doing targeted training. Yeah. And so... Going with the whole fitness thing was the idea of, you know, if you're a training organization, you're a sports organization, mm -hmm. and you have a bunch of students, and you're like, hey, we're looking for a space yeah. to, you know, train our kids. Well, you can train them yeah. in terms of your own curriculum, but you can also do fitness, mm -hmm. right? And so we have a center that's designed specifically for, you know, precision-based training, target training, strength mm -hmm. training, yeah. like all these different layers, right, that's involved in fitness mm -hmm. and, and sportsmanship, right? Yeah. And so the Docker Dish is really cool because it just plays that role, right, of, of integrating technology in your yep. in your training. And like you said, like, this is all new, man. This is all it's new, all yeah. New. There was none of this when we were playing. <laughs> none like, of that. <laughs> it's just you and your buddy passing each other, that's right. rebounding, getting you the ball, right? Yeah, yeah. So we found out about it. Uh, just through, like, social media. And yeah. We kind of pass it, like, oh, check us out. This is yeah, awesome. Yeah. And then uh, just as we were researching more and more, we're like, "Hey, this is amazing. Yeah. We should we should get this." Start right? getting into so it. Yeah, yeah, two of those machines. And, um, nice. They're yeah, amazing, man. Yeah, so good. A lot of the NBA players use them too, right? Yeah, like for right. themselves. Right. So, are there stats on like a general kind of comp no, uh, leaderboard I, yeah, or something? No, or? there's no general leaderboard mm -hmm. for like their whole database, like globally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but there is local based leaderboards. Like you okay. can set that up for yeah. your your venue so yeah, when yeah. you when you're talking to the sales guys there's different models and one of those models mm -hmm. we didn't get this one but there's a facility based model okay um that you can put on your tv like the yeah. you know all the different stuff yeah. now we can do certain things with this particular one in mm -hmm. terms of the leaderboard but it was like 
you can cast it to your venue screen. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it's live little, tracking or something. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, for an extra couple of thousands of dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe but, not. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> but, you know, that's cool, right? Yeah, yeah. In terms of ga- um, game of gamification. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The training. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. The training. Yeah. So, yeah. That's uh yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, no, yeah, it's awesome. Um, did you used to play back in the day, or did you? Uh, not as sure? much. Okay, not as much. I I yeah. I my route was music. Oh, okay. <laughs> growing up, right? <laughs> um, so this is the thing too mm. is when I look at you know the story of Hoops Haven, mm-hmm. um, for me it's just a story of just being an entrepreneur, right? Mm. Like at that time, a few months prior to being called, when my friend called me. Mm. Um, I just had this itch, man, of like, I need to build. I need to build something. (laughs) Something, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I was on staff at the bridge and kind of doing that during COVID, which is, you know, communications during COVID was intense. (laughs) Everything was so, everything was digital. And so it was really helping to roll over all the ministries into a digital expression. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of that, um, just feeling like I just need to tap into this. Mm -hmm. Put my hands to something and start to build something Some new. Thing. Yeah. Right. And so when he called me, uh, it just it just clicked. This was mm-hmm. now several months later after like a, a month of intense unrest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he called me out of the blue. I was heading out for lunch and then I'm talking to him and I'm like, oh my gosh, dude. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. This is the thing. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And uh, so for me, it's just a, it, it is literally just building, just a, just a love of building. Mm hmm something new right Mm -hmm. and then to see it now grow and uh you know we had a big meeting with all the parent northwall parents on on saturday Mm -hmm. um and just the impact of that and hearing their um just we're we're, we want to leverage this opportunity not just invest in the children but to invest in the families right Mm -hmm. yeah and so just a little aside there another thing that's kind of in, in going is um same same business partner him and i run a nonprofit called CCAN, Canadian Community Alliance Network. Okay. So CCAN yeah. um, has different programs under it. So North Ball is one of the programs. Mm-hmm. There's another program called Digital Bridge, which is a uh, program for seniors. Yeah. It was part of the Canadian Relief Fund, mm-hmm. where after COVID, they are funding all these organizations helping seniors with technology. Oh, uh, okay. And so uh, we got funding through United Way for that. Wow. Okay. And uh, we just had wrapped up. We did about nine week program, designed a whole curriculum for technology, level up seniors, mm-hmm. got a bunch of tablets and stuff like that for the seniors to experience. And our whole thing was to be able to come to community like organizations mm-hmm. that service seniors yep. and not put the burden on them to buy anything. Yeah, yeah. Right? To be like, hey, hey, we got we the, got the curriculum, we got all yeah. the care. Yep. All we need is tables yep. and chairs. And people. <laughs> and people. <laughs> Get your seniors, right? <laughs> and so we had a good yeah. group of seniors, yeah. and uh, we just showed up every Saturday morning yeah. and just taught them on different you know, topics on, here's yeah. your browser, right. and here's email, and yeah, yeah. here's internet security, and here's what you got to be aware of, and here's mm-hmm. mobile, Android versus iOS, and, yeah. you know, uh, Safari, so um, um uh, Mac OS versus Windows, and <laughs> yeah. Chrome OS, you yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> like going through all these things, just hearing from them, and it was a good time. But that's what uh, CCAN does, right? So, mm. so North Ball is just one of the portfolio, one of its portfolio was, programs, yeah. And, and um, through that, we've been seeing we're also launching a life management uh, program, mm. and so with these parents on Saturday, we're sitting down with them and just going, look, you know, we want to pour into you. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we are. There's a good friend of mine, same church that I met my buddy at. Mm. Um, just a good friend of mine who, when I was leading the music teams there, yeah, he was like my guy, like my second guy, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, he's a brilliant mind, mm. uh, a brilliant strategist um, at World Vision. Mm. Uh, has been there, um, doing a lot of things with leading a lot of innovation there. Okay, and. Um, I've been like waiting for him to do his thing, his own thing, and launch <laughs> yeah. out. And he has yeah. all these certifications and all these different uh, scrum and this and all these different terms. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, so he he wants to launch a program. He did mm. some couple of pilot programs of just life management mm. um, and training people in things that would cost them normally mm. lots of money to get certified on. Yeah. He's like, I just want to be able to get this knowledge for free. Oh, wow. 
And so him and I were partnering up on their CCAN. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look, man, we have like 50 to 60 parents that are just sitting there. Just, yeah, yeah. On a Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when <laughs> while they're, they're watching they're, their kids. While they're watching yeah. their kids, yeah. right? Let's level them up. Let them go over to a classroom and just yeah. level up, right? Yeah, yeah. Learn about investment, right. learn about time blocking, learn about, yeah. you know, uh, financial management, uh, mm -hmm. so many different things, right? Yeah. Uh, mental health and youth, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's exciting. And yeah. so as we were sitting there with these parents, we were presenting that. And just to see them go, we had actually wow. a couple of parents who had, were doing trials. We do trial sessions, free trial session, right? Yeah, yeah. So one, <laughs> just imagine doing a trial. You walk in, you had no idea. You get called to some meeting. Yeah. And then we're like, yeah, we're going to do this thing. And so this one mother came up. She's like, this is amazing. I'm, I am so impressed. She's like, I've never seen yeah. anything like this. And we're like, yeah. that's, 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 that's the feedback we're looking. Yeah. That's, that's the feedback we're looking Well, we're doing for. this. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. So just be able to pour into people and yeah. see you level up. No, that's amazing. Cause you're not just, you know, cause a lot of the clubs, they're just out there just to get them money or, yeah. you know, you see the, you know, the clubs that really, um, Make it a business, right? Yes, that's but right. this is really about pouring back into the the kids, the exactly. families, the exactly. the community. Yeah. So no, great great initiative yeah, there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. It's really fun. Yeah. Man. No, no, amazing yeah. to see. Um, you know, you said uh, you know some of the community partnerships about anything else that you guys are working on, or what else? Yeah, like outside of these. Yeah, these. Yeah. Or so one of the things that we are also okay, just going back to the CCAN portfolio. That's one thing. So. Mm. We uh, are doing this life management. We're also looking at the area of, um, uh, we have a program called Meal Squad. Middle uh, Squad? Meal. meal oh, squad. Meal Squad, okay. So Meal Squad mm. is focused on feeding um, on, uh, underprivileged kids mm. in elementary. Okay. Um, so it's a lunch food program. Uh. Um, and so one of our board members, he was involved in um, another program in the Niagara region mm. called Community Crew. Um, and they've done amazing things. Yeah. They're one of the bigger programs out in that region okay. who's, who are doing this, right? Yeah. And so he's been a great coach and showing mm -hmm. us kind of how to do and what to do and mm -hmm. different approaches. And so that's something that we are starting to raise funds for yeah. um, to get into these schools and mm -hmm. just help kids who are showing up without lunch. Yeah. You know, and just dealing with the stigmatism, the, the, the you yeah. know, the... the identity and all those issues with that right yeah uh and be able to come in and provide mm. meals meals yeah it's just something that basic necessity which basic we kind of take but granted affects, for but yeah it affects so much of their education yeah right so that's that's one of those programs uh, another thing that we are um doing right now is a program we have a software company called lead pulse lead lead pulse oh, lead so pulse. it's a crm based okay. software company yeah and really with the tip of the spirit being automation, mm. right? And so yeah. uh, this is something that's been in development for the last three years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are now at the point where we're at to market. Yeah. And um, we are starting to put, kind of push, mark, through, yeah. push through, push it, push it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, the tip of the spirit, man, it's just automation. So wow. leveraging technology to go, okay, what are the things that you know, are common things, mm -hmm. you know, some filling out a form and then what are the different processes that need to happen from that point on, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And how much of those processes can we automate, mm -hmm. right? And leverage technology, right? Yeah. Um, SMS, you know, has like a 98% open rate, yeah. right? Uh, versus email. And <laughs> email right now, as much as it, email is powerful. Yeah, yeah. Extremely powerful. Very powerful. But then you have all these companies always looking at ways of filtering, right? <laughs> you have Gmail with their four yeah, yeah, default the four inbox <laughs> things. <laughs> Outlook has its own thing. Yeah, and, yeah. And they're all look, doing different things to kind of filter out mm. and clean up the inbox, right? So it affects your your um, open rates. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right? And so when you can leverage technology in a very intelligent way. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty robust system. So it's something that we are literally really go to market this year. Mm -hmm. um, and then an, another branch that's called Church Pulse, which is the same software, but with automations and workflows designed specifically for church-based mm. um uh, situations, is, yeah. right? Uh, so that's something that we are uh, engaging <laughs> into. So, so this is why yeah. I'll say with New Vision, I'm kind of I've kind of pulled Step back, back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and have been like showing up for these other areas. Yeah, yeah. Um, just because, yeah, it's just a new, it's it's a it's a passion. Yeah, uh, and just need to be present for it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to and you're identifying it. the needs of you know the organizations you're working with, exactly, right? So exactly, yeah. 
and so that's uh that's it man that's Mm. No, so, it's, it's amazing. It's like, leveraging time. It's <laughs> leveraging time. So the gym is being able to give us time. Yeah. Right? No. It's, uh, we're going, okay, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, because it's interesting because we know for start talking about Hoops Haven, that's, you know, what I thought we were going to be talking about. But now we're hearing about the story and all yeah. these other kind of initiatives that you're doing. It's uh, well, Hoops Haven is just one part of it. One this part. is one big kind of uh, yeah. community outreach uh, initiative and yeah. everything that you're doing. Yeah. It's uh, it's amazing impact that you're yeah, uh, pushing yeah. into the local community. So yeah. very, very kudos to that. So oh, <laughs> lots to learn from. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, going back to basketball a little bit, uh, mm-hmm. you know, how do you, uh, you know, obviously it's a growing business and you've been good at attraction and uh, developing the, the kids. Uh, why, you know, why youth athletics? Why, you know, out of everything that you could have done, why, why youth athletics? Okay, well, man, I mean, yeah. a love for kids. Yep. Um, one of the things mm. that I think is a huge, huge mm. revelation in need is just um, mentorship in mm. for young kids, yeah. right? Mm. Um, they're the future of our mm-hmm. nation, yep. of our communities, mm-hmm. um, and a lot of them come from broken homes, right? Mm. You know, actually, one of the, at, so from a Who's Haven perspective, we rent out to a lot of groups yep. similar to North Ball, right? Yep. They're also running their own programs. And there's this one group that came in and they were giving them a tour before they committed to signing on and stuff. And, as, you know, just hit it off mm-hmm. with them, right? Yeah. And we we're in the, our ki- we have a kitchen on site. And so we're in the kitchen just talking through. And they said something to me that just really, really hit home. They're like, look, man, coaching is like one of the last straw, like last um, defenses, defenses, <laughs> right? Because yeah. it's like yeah. you have teachers, and there's yeah. like so much sensitivities around what yep. you can and cannot say as a teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even with parenting, there's a lot of yeah. uh, disempowerment of parents, mm-hmm. right? And what you can and cannot say. Yeah, right. But with coaches. No, <laughs> like you, know, there's, yeah. you, know, you don't listen to me. Gym. Go, uh, right. <laughs> go run some suicides. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is a, a, a respect for coach, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And they they said that, and I was like, whoa, oh, it's true. That's yeah. so true. Yeah, yeah. You know, your kid will get up and f- enter a focus zone. Yeah. That you're like, as a parent, you can you can you can ask, pick up this, get this, yeah, do yeah. this. And they're like, yeah, okay, Wait, mom, whatever, okay, yeah. dad, whatever. <laughs> but then they enter sports, yeah, yeah. and all of a sudden, boom. boom. You don't talk back to the coach. <laughs> yeah, you don't talk back to the coach. You've got instant respect. Yeah. Yeah. They're showing up early. They're yeah, doing yeah. the work. They're putting in the time, right? Yeah, yeah. And so there's a power to mm. providing that third space, I guess, you know, like mm. in the sense of you have your mom, your dad, and, you know, sometimes you need someone else. Yep. You, need, you can reinforce in something as a parent to your children, mm. and they may not hear you, but... Take yeah. that uh, that third person come in, yeah. or that second person come in, and yeah. be like, "Hey, you and better, you're like, you better pull up your pants." <laughs> you know? Yeah, <laughs> and then suddenly they pull up their pants, right? Yeah, yeah. And so that's been the power of that, right? Mm. Has just been be able to provide a safe space for mm. children and kids, and that's a huge. Honestly, when that that has been, that is a heartbeat for me. Mm. I, like, love the game, yeah. love basketball, mm-hmm. amazing. But I also know. Like ninety eight percent of these kids, ninety nine percent of these time kids, nine point nine aren't gonna make it. Yeah, the NBA. aren't gonna make it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't going pro. Right? Yeah. So what's the point of that? Yeah. What's the point of it? Mm-hmm. Right. What sure, they get physical activity. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, that's great. But man, it has to be deeper than that. Mm, they true. have to pick up some value. Yeah. You know, some level of, that that their heart has changed. Mm. That they're able to be like, man, my experience there. Like we had one kid. The parents were like, hey, we can't reach our son. We can't reach out to him. He's been in this place. Mm. We're concerned for him. Yeah. 16 years old. Can you guys talk to him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pull him aside. Discover that girlfriend broke up with him. Uh, and he's in this place. Yeah. Okay? It's a dark place. Dark yeah. place. Yeah, yeah. And he says to us, he's like, I don't feel loved anywhere. Mm. We're like, what about... At home, or, or, or what? Or, like, do you feel loved here? He's like, yeah. actually, no. North Ball, it's like the only place I feel loved. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Did not expect that. Yeah, right? yeah. So it was like, oh, okay. This is what it means to you. 
Mm. Which means like for the rest of his rest of his life, he's gonna have this moment of memory yeah. of this place. Right? And we're like at this point, we can become a force for good for his in his life. Mm. To help yeah. him weather whatever the storm is, right? Yeah, yeah. And so each, you know, that's 16 years old and has its own stuff in that season and time. Yeah. That's the stuff, right? Yeah. But it's different when you're five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. But you still have stuff. Yep. Right? And so to be able to pr- provide a place of like, oh, I met these really good friends. I had mm-hmm. a lot of fun. Oh, we got, you know, yeah. a lot of our community partners will come in. Yeah. So like Cy came in and spoke to the kids. We had this big event called Charity Jam. Yeah. We had Jamal McGlore come in. Oh, nice. We had all these people come. Uh, yeah. Real McCoy oh. from Scarborough came and brought a bunch of pizzas. We yeah, had all yeah. these vendors and just providing this place mm-hmm. that's just celebrating these families, right? Yeah. Um, and then the other thing with kids and youth too is 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 that it is a gateway to the family, mm-hmm. right? Because these kids aren't coming by themselves. Yeah, yeah. The families are. The families are yeah. dropping them off or mm-hmm. sitting there with them. And so with the team, I, you know, been saying, I'm like, look, guys, like, again, I love, love the game, love basketball. Mm-hmm. I love the ability to level up their skills. Yeah. But my heart, like, guys, we have to, have to look at our calendar year. Yeah. And look at how can we pour in these greater values mm-hmm. into these families. Like, how can we empower yeah. families? Like that to me is the drive, yeah. right? Um, and we're just, it's just, the basketball is just, like just it's a, an avenue. An avenue. Yeah. An avenue. Mm-hmm. And then once they're in, it's like, hey, we want to pour into. Yep. Right? Oh. So, yeah, man. No, uh, that's great to hear because it's a very, very different focus from some of the other kind of like basketball clubs out there, right? And, mm-hmm. um, you know, it really shows in you know, the community outreach that you're doing and all the programs. So definitely thank you for being a positive bright light in our community and uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, showcasing that, um, that to them, right? And yeah. it is, uh, I, I think, a great need for uh, definitely in today's world right now where broken families, schools, education, it's all kind of getting really messed up. So having something like that to, you know, foundation or ground them back into a foundation and the family unit, try and build that back up again. That's and uh, we, we need it more, especially with social media and stuff, yeah. you know, like this generation, like talking about, well, we never had this stuff when we were kids. That's something we yeah. never had when we were kids. Social media, right? Social yeah. media. <laughs> and uh, there's good things and bad things. Yeah. Uh, and there's just a sense of kids being exposed to things really, really early before they have the life experience to be able to understand it process it, yeah. and process it. Mm-hmm. And so more than ever, we need mentors. Mm. We need, they yeah. need mentors. They need people that can go, Hey, this is how to have a positive outlook on yourself. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know? And not compare yourself to not whatever you see on social. Yeah. 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 Um, it's so important. So, yeah. Yeah. No, so thank you for doing that. Um, it seems like we're kind of running out of time. So before we end, I just I always ask, end off with two questions. Mm. So the first one is, uh, what's the, the one type of food you could eat for the rest of the, your life? <laughs> <laughs> if there is one. <laughs> what can you eat first? Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 I have all these allergies. I can eat anything. Oh, man. Um, one, one type of food, eh? Yeah. Oh, I have to do something for my mom, man. Yeah? yeah Home cooked meals, mom, yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, my mom's cooking. Okay. Like she makes an amazing uh, macaroni pie. Macaroni pie? That okay. Is just bomb. <laughs> uh, and her lamb. Yeah. Amazing. And her okay. Ribs. So I, don't okay. Know, I know that's three. But. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> mom's cooking. That's, uh, mom's we'll cooking, leave it at yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other one is uh, what's the one feature you'd like to have in your dream house? Ooh, mm-hmm. okay. So I literally just talked to my wife about this because she <laughs> doesn't. She's a TV host. Oh yeah. And uh, <laughs> I was like, and I'm a media guy. So yeah, yeah. Like, man, I would just want to have on the back, like, back part of the property. Yeah. Okay. Now this is a future property. You don't have this now. Yeah. But like, say an acre of land in the back uh-huh. where you have a studio. Okay, your own recording broadcasting studio. Yeah, yeah, man, like a video studio. Nice. Yeah, I yeah. Love that. Well, definitely can send you some <laughs> listings with that. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I have a few. Uh, I think I can uh, send your way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's yeah, on. No, let's go. It's on. <laughs> Um, okay, so that pretty much wraps up our uh, this week's episode of Timsel Talks. Thank you very much, Earl, for coming and sharing. Uh, you know this wonderful uh, community uh, initiative that you're doing. Uh, where can you know uh, folks find you if they want to be part of this community that you're building? Yeah, so you can go to CanadaCan.org. Yep, that's our uh, CCAN website. Mm-hmm. Or NorthBallAthletics.com. NorthBall okay. is our NorthBall program. Yep. 
And you got programs running throughout the the year, throughout right? The year. All, okay, all, and all yeah. age ranges and everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so if you enjoyed today's episode uh, and you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, you know who to call. Uh, please give us a follow and like and a five-star review if you can. And uh, remember, guys, dream it, believe it, achieve it. It's a beautiful day to sell homes. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for coming on, Harold. Hi, I'm Tim Kern, and I proudly lead the Tim Sold team. We're voted as one of the top three brokerages in Markham, and we'll sell your house fast and for top dollar with the least amount of hassle or we guarantee to buy it. Call us today and start packing. Thank you.